Hello again and welcome to another programme in our series, The Best of the ICC World 2020. This is the 2009 edition of the tournament that really has taken the world by storm, International 2020 Cricket. This match is the first of the semi-finals, Pakistan against South Africa and Trent Bridge, Nottingham is the venue, the date, June the 18th, 2009. Let's look at the two teams lining up for this semi-final. Pakistan, Kamran Akmal, who would keep wicket, Shazib Hassan, Shahid Afridi, Shoaib Malik, Yunus Khan, Pakistan's captain, Abdul Razak, Mizbah Ulhaq, Fawad Alam, Umar Gul, Syed Ajmal, the offspinner, and Mohammed Amir. For the South Africans, Jacques Callis would open with Graham Smith, the skipper, Herschel Gibbs, A.B. de Villiers, J.P. Duermany, Albie Morkel, Mark Boucher to keep wicket, lots of batting in the South African lineup, Rulof van der Merwe, who bowls left arm spin, Wayne Parnell, Johan Buerta, and the quickie, Dale Stain. Pakistan won the toss and would decide to bat first in this semi-final at Trent Bridge, Nottingham. Now, Stain and Parnell set the tone brilliantly against England. Can they do the same against Pakistan? It's a good pitch. We've just seen the women play on this pitch in the semi-final and it's a good surface, it's cracked, it's dry. No surprise, Pakistan wanting to bat first with their spin options. Very, very dry surface. The groundsman's not been able to sprinkle it too much because it's so close to the other surfaces that have been used in the tournament. So just a little bit of a watering can on it and it's dry and flat. Pakistan away, listen to the cheers. Good stroke by Cameron Akmal, he's dangerous. Well, Stain sometimes has a tendency to just drag it down outside off stump. Cameron Akmal is into position quickly to play the cut shot perfectly. Most wicket keepers pick up length well. He doesn't move his feet a lot, but he likes to cut anything wide. Immediate change in the field. Slip goes out, backward point. That's a better length and a good delivery as well. Hit away, hits hard, hit for four. Eight from the first over. Good over for Pakistan. Terrific stroke for the second time in the over by Cameron Akmal. Dal Stein trying to bowl a slow delivery, but again, too much width. Akmal, the previous boundary was off the back foot. This one is a square drive off the front foot. Up in the air. Fielder tries to get round. He gets there. Takes the catch. They don't drop many. Van der Merwe, it's him again on this ground. Brilliant catch to dismiss Peterson. Now he's got the first catch to dismiss Shazib. Wayne Parnell again, it's all going his way, but that was a terrific catch. Not a good stroke, it has to be said. Eight for one. Delivery wasn't short enough to pull. So Shahzad not getting into a good position, but what a good catch. Ulof van Amarva getting into a very good position at mid-on. Trader Freedy promoted to number three. He's had a couple of good games. He started the tournament abysmally with the bat. He's bowled beautifully. That's how you play the pull shot. Hits it hard for four. What a great stroke. He looks in good touch. Now Smith does well. No, he doesn't. Dives over it for more. Oh, the big guy couldn't get down quickly enough. Back to back boundaries for Cameron Ackmore. First one was a pull shot. This one was a very good cover drive. Beat first Herschel Gibbs and then Graham Smith tried hard. But just a bit late to get down. Four fours for Ackmount in eight deliveries. That's 
why if you pitch it up, you get whacked straight back over your head. Good start from Afridi, good start Pakistan, 22 for one. What a shot that is. Unbelievable, was it back foot, was it front foot? We'll see, it was six. Well, that's an awesome stroke, not much wrong with the delivery. He was in the channel just outside off stump. Six, number 153 for the tournament, and a glorious stroke. 82 metres, well, I think we've worked out which Pakistan have turned up today. It's the one to be afraid of. The crowd are up, and South Africa have got to try and silence them. Well, that could be a way of doing it. Spliced up in the air, takes the catch. Yeah. Akmal can't believe what he's done. Staying pumped up, South Africa pumped up. So Akmal gone, 23 off 12, Pakistan 28 for 2. Well, that's the problem with Pakistan, you never know what's going to happen next. Damran Akmal was batting so well, this wasn't necessary. Shorter delivery from Dale Steyn, got onto him quicker than he thought, spliced it. And that was an easy catch for Avery de Villiers. Four. Good all round cricketer. That was a bit of off spin. Short. He's nailed it over mid wicket for four. Already well, we played and missed a couple of times, but not this time. Chuck Cutter's not getting the bouncer quite right. It wasn't short enough and it wasn't quick enough. Short again, hits hard again, four more. End of the over, 43 for two. Or is asking to be, he does, he does bowl a full toss quite frequently, both up. That went very quickly. So Pakistan pulling it back a little bit here, six already from the over. Yeah, that was the quicker ball, and you're right, Harsher, he does get the odd full toss in, and he's a very strong man, Afridi, he's a good hitter of the low full toss. Well, he's a good hitter of almost anything. Excellent innings this from Afridi, 50 of the partnership comes up. He's looking very good, Afridi. Well, what he's done well is stick to his areas, extra cover, over extra cover, 39 of 28. Now he has been thrashing about a bit, Afridi. 14 from 22, Malik. Just some momentum gained here. And is that going to be three in a row? Yes, it is. He's targeted that area and Johan Boda is feeling the heat here. Well, because he has that quicker ball, that dart, the sweep becomes a dangerous shot. So what Afridi's done is hit straight. And by straight, I mean extra cover. Gives himself a bit of room. There's a big space between long off and cover point. He has to get it over extra cover. And he does that very, very well. Just wonder if he's starting to play match-winning innings here for Pakistan, Afridi. He hasn't self-destructed, which is, uh, as that banner says, Afridi is back, nice to see. So often, the bowler is just incidental. Afridi almost gets himself out. 
Well, he's still not happy with his bat. He's had a change of bat already. He's hit three fours in a row, and he's just waved at the dugout for a new bat. I mean, it's better than the one he's used in this tournament so far. Very smartly played. Might well be four in a row. What an over. 18 from it, 86 for two. Right, already six from the over. That'll be another two. 50 comes up for Shahid Afridi. What an innings already, huge impact on this match. What a time as well. Quiet start to the tournament and then when it matters, semi-final stage, a gun player delivers. And he's not finished. This man can do some serious damage in the last five overs. Anything can happen here. It's up in the air. They don't drop them, the South Africans, and that's easily taken. Slower on the ball. This bat didn't work for him. Smith's done it again. Excellent captaincy from Smith. He's really gambled with Dumini. Just a different type of bowler from Johan Botha. Afridi's gone. Well played. 51 of 34. Pakistan 95 for three. She just sends with Afridi. This is like offering a red rag to a bull here. A tossed up ball and Afridi was going to go for it. Come what may. Didn't go too far. Good catch. Easy at this level though. And he's a brilliant fielder. Just got better. It's a poor ball off, a good one. Yeah, kick of the dirt by Van der Merwe. A little bit like Botha when he's got his quicker delivery and he's bowled it full. That's the added pressure of a semi-final. He's gone for the dart. Malik picks it up on the full. Dumini will continue. They're giving him one more. Oh, just over. We always target that spot. The moment you go over cover, it's always a boundary. Two very good players who spin at the crease. Open the face, as I said earlier, you've just got to get it past and over that man at short extra. And that's exactly what they've done. It is Gibbs there, so you have to get it spot on. But Malik is batting beautifully. What a stop that is. For a brief moment, I thought he might have actually plucked it out. Got Gibbs on one side, De Villiers on the other. And what's interesting is they're not feeling on the edge of the circle. Well, they cut down the angle. Look how close they get. That's what I've been trying to say in the whole tournament. Get in close. Cut the angle down. Difficult to get past them. I mean, he let that one go. But don't forget, Dumini is a brilliant fielder as well. I guess, Nas, you can, you can come in close and cut the angle if you're a fielder of the caliber of these two. Because then it means you've got to be very quick moving couple of yards either side of you runs coming from everywhere you'd look at this game and say are there any fielders in green at all well coaches would applaud that because it's called maneuvering the field you go over extra cover and the man in the deep has to come straighter and it's quite brilliant batting because the man's gone straighter in the deep so what's he do? Reverse sweeps, and that'll get him another boundary. Very, very classical, sensible batting. Just a simple shovel for a single. Now this is turning out to be another very big over. Ten already from it. It's always a tricky one when you've got a player like, like Dumini. He's picked up a wicket. It's a rare day on which he'll bowl all four. Do you keep him going? But he said, no, I think he's done his bit. Before he leaks runs, let me get away.
leg by it rounded off bit of an appeal from Dumini it's 120 for three after 15 already eight and over There's the chance. Should be out, should it? It's too long. No, good good effort. Johan Bolter is the man at deep mid-off and Van der Merwe picks up another wicket. He was very calm underneath that delivery. Johan Bolter, he knew exactly where the boundary was. Malik didn't quite get it out of the middle of the bat. So he perishes for 34. Pakistan 124 for four. It's a good time to get the breakthrough. Rulof van der Merwe doing the trick. Just deceived Shoaib Malik in flight. And Johan Boerta making no mistake. Showing very good catching technique. It's nicely turned away to Yunus Khan is on strike. The batsman crossed as that ball was in the air. New batsman is Abdul Razak. And this is just tailor made for him. Strike rate of 120. He certainly can find the boundary. So a single first ball. 16 overs gone, 126 for four. Well, that's the way it's all happened. Pakistan started with a bang, then they slowed down, then they got it going again, and then they slowed right down again. So it's been a stop start innings. Again, good delivery, good start to the final over for Wayne Parnell. Well, you'd have to think South Africa would be really, really happy with anything under 155. Terrific delivery once again. And the bouncer. So, Razak just anything at the moment. He's 11 from 13. Oh, that's not what he's in the side for. They back him to play the big strokes. Fielded. Really well fielded. Maybe De Villiers again. toss this time and still Pakistan cannot put it away well this will give South Africa confidence and momentum going into the chase the way they finished Pakistan dugout won't be all that happy they would have been looking at 160 they only fall down so not the best way to finish the innings during the last five overs Just terrific work, Wayne Parnell. Leg by that one. Boy, he deserves to finish it off well here with another single or dot ball because at just 19 years of age, the, the calm head on this guy's shoulders. These are speed variations. But just to, I, I would say, 11, maybe 10 out of 11 times, he's hit the block hole in the last 11 balls. It's been superb, really has. Can Pakistan post 150? Well, that's exactly 
what South Africa will have to get. 149 for four from their 20 overs, Pakistan. South Africa will need 150 runs, and you can see Graham Smith very happy with the situation. Does it look like getting away on South Africa there at one stage, but they have managed to pull it back absolutely superbly. 29 runs off the last five overs, Kepler. Good effort. Brilliant bowling performance, particularly during the last five overs. South Africa have put themselves in with a real chance of going through to the final. They've got a powerful batting lineup. This is a good pitch. So one would imagine if they play anywhere close to their ability, they should win this game. Pakistan 149 for four. Would those runs be enough? Shahid Afridi with a 51 and runs coming from Shoaib Malik and Yunus Khan who was 24 not out at the end. South Africa's bowlers would feel they've uh, done a pretty good job. Dale Steyn, one for 28 in four overs. Wayne Parnell, one for 26 in his four. Callis, two overs, none for 14. Albi Morkel, two overs, none for 13. Rulof Fanamerva, four overs, one for 29. Johan Buerta, two overs, none for 23. And JP Duermany, two overs, one for 14. So South Africa need 150 to beat Pakistan in Nottingham. And if they get that target, they will take the final at Lords. You'll see South Africa's reply straight after this break. Jacques Callas will face the first ball from Razak. South Africa in search of a place in the World Cup final of 2020. They need 150. Here we go. Well, a chance at the far end. Run out. Graham Smith came a long way down. Pakistan's fielding is going to be very, very important. They haven't fielded that well in the tournament. And this is an in-between score. Callis sold Smith a little bit of a dummy there, but it was pretty good cricket in the end. He sent him back quickly. 160, I would say, was about the par score on this surface. So Pakistan 11 runs short. That can be made up in the field. A big shout. Billy Bowden says no. Might have just been nipping down leg side. Threw a shot early. Callis ball just nipped back in a good seam position and down the leg side a lot of movement off the seam on this leg stump comfortably well lovely shot lovely start for Jacques Callis he's waited for the half volley and he's put it away very composed cricketer Jacques Callis Chance, no. Wide of the fieldsman. Four runs. Afridi straight away goes up to the bowler. He's going to need his senior players around him. Can't bowl wide to Callis. Got to be straight on this pitch. Callis so strong. He's already had one drive in front of square. That one behind square. Edge, no slip. Four runs. Smith goes. Leg side hits it high in the air. Is it Umar Gol underneath it? He's made a meal of it. Absolute meal of it. Well, a let off and a massive let off for Graham Smith. Well, I don't know if he's embarrassed or hurt his head. I think he's hurt his head. He came down hard on the back of his head. Just there. He looked at Afridi. Afridi looked at him. Top edge should have been taken, to be honest. At this stage, he just has a look across to Afridi. Then he sets himself. Oh, I don't think he got a hand on it. Bang. Ouch. 
Yeah, not nice. I don't think it would have hurt anywhere near as much if he'd caught it. Well, this time somebody's got to take it. Three people taking it. Bola goes for it, for it and takes it. Not the most confident of innings from Grants with it. It's all right. Pakistan storming back into this game. Are there any South Africans in the crowd there? So Smith is gone for 10. And South Africa 40 for 1. This is such, a, such an intelligent bowling by young Muhammad Amir. Couple of yokers and then he saw Smith giving himself room. He bowled a short delivery and a simple catch in the end by Amir. An important breakthrough for Pakistan. Eyes on the ball till the last second. He knows how important this wicket is for Pakistan if they have to win this game. Smith was struggling out there. He departs. Started off well. That will go all the way. Just a gentle ball outside off stamina. Can Gibbs play the innings that matters? For the South Africans. The fielder at the, at the covers boundary was too square, I reckon. It should be slightly straighter. And Razak is struggling a bit there. He's making a comeback in the international cricket after two years. So it will take some time for him to get his fitness back. Gibbs bowled by Afridi. Is this going to be his day then? South Africa 46 for two. Now that was a beauty. Beautiful ball under pressure. Straighter delivery. Nipped. And then came in to Harsha Gibbs who missed it. And Shahid Afridi got his first wicket and South Africa lost his second wicket for 46. It's Afridi's day so far. And Shahid Afridi knows how important that wicket was for him and for Pakistan to win this semi-final. Great performance by big man. Probably on current form. South Africa's finest batsman, the fans of Kalis might uh, dispute that. Freed is looking like he's going to take a wicket every ball. He's bowling so well from last three and a half, especially in this tournament. You've seen that his varieties are very much there. Look at the loop there in the ball as well. Was there an edge? Probably it was an edge. It's Shahid Afridi's day. What an important wicket. The man in form departs Abi de Villiers for one. South Africa 50 for three. A quicker delivery. Inside edge. On to the stumps. What a sight for the bowler and for the whole Pakistan. Pakistani supporters in England, worldwide, and in Pakistan. They must be glued to their televisions. And Shahid Afridi is on fire here. The ground is noisy. Everybody is supporting the Pakistan team and Shahid Afridi is the man. So the kind will take on the bowling straight away. 10 for 3 in the last 18 deliveries. Saeed Ajmal. Oh, just give him room. And he picks the gap beautifully. Just what South Africa needed here. Just marginally shot. That shows you what a good player Callis is.
he's got that very fine that should be boundary and it came off the gloves no signal from the umpire for leg buys it's a wayward start here for Omar Gul another good delivery the leg cutter Jacques Cal is nowhere near that ball he's setting up to do something here Maybe just trying to take on Umar Gul, play his favorite shot over extra cover. Hasn't got hold of it, but that's allowed the ball to go in between those two fielders and it's gone all the way. Welcome boundary here for South Africa. That brings up Jacques Callis' 50. Valuable innings for South Africa. This it's well played. Jack Kellis 50 up. This has gone high up in the sky, and he's got the distance too. Well, I don't like to say I told you so, Sanjay, but I just, I just could not, for the life of me, understand this decision from Eunice Khan. He's got quality bowlers sitting in the bank. And you've you've just given the opportunity to a guy who hasn't bowled much in the tournament, a young man. And he's just afraid to bowl the off spinners to the right hander. Maybe that's the only reason. We're seeing some left arm spin for Fawad Alam. He reckons Jacques Callis is the danger man out there. He's just not, uh, I think, brave enough to get his off spinners to bowl to him. Well, Said Ashmal is it's not it's considered it. a, a genuine off spinner. He's got such a great doosra. I mean, it. it you never know when it's coming, you can't, not many people pick it. And Callis decides to run down to him, it could go straight past him. Turning out to be a good innings. Jacques Callis, 13 runs of the over so far. And he might get two here. Dumini will come back for the second. Good over for South Africa. Sets up the match nicely for the final five overs. It's 98 for three. required from 18 deliveries 13 runs and over this could be at a crucial over Saeed Ajmal is bowling Yakalis is going to face Saeed Ajmal we know Saeed Ajmal he can bowl good Dusra he can bowl the quicker one as well and this wicket so far has been suiting the spin bowling 39 runs from 18 deliveries well this has got to be the over that South Africa target they can't leave themselves with too much to do over the last two overs Said Ajmal he's bowled brilliantly is this going to be caught Shahab Malik's underneath it and he takes a solid catch big moment for Pakistan Ajmal strikes Kallis the danger man is gone he was a right fielder there Shweb Malik cool as a cucumber Said Ajmal experience matters like I said in this version of the game the danger man departs for 64 South Africa 111 for 4 Colors had to go he had to try and get the big one he did the right thing he looked for the maximum of the first delivery of the over but he just didn't get it in the middle picked the wrong fielder as well because Shaib Malik is very safe under the high ball and look at Saeed Ajmal Relieved, relaxed, got the danger man. And Shweb Malik, on the other hand, was cool, under pressure. So he's the danger man, Albi Morkel. He would be probably the last hope for South Africa, but he doesn't have much time to play himself in. Almost become used to the fact now that he comes in too late. There's three deliveries left. What can JP Dumini come up with? It's a boundary, full toss, well struck by JP Dumini. You see, he bowled the first quicker one and then he has to vary his pace. He was unhappy with himself and rightly so. It was a low full toss and JP Dumini played nicely. This is the danger man departing 
And very good catch by Shoaib Malik under a lot of pressure. And look at the crowd behind Shaib Ajmal gone berserk. Leg buys, but how many of them? Four of them. So another twist in the tail. South Africa not giving up without a fight. Ben runs from the over so far. It was uh, maybe inside edge. It was a dusra. Beautifully ball missed it completely. It was going down like maybe it's the angle where he bowls from wide off around the wicket. Last ball of the over, and it's another important delivery. Missing leg. 121 for four. There are three fielders inside the circle. Fine leg is coming up. up. Third man is up. There's a man at square leg. Man is gone to going to mid wicket now. Midon is there, so Armour has to be perfectly. He has to bowl perfectly within the stumps, middle leg, because fine leg is up, third man is up. Anything outside of stump will go towards third man with the full delivery. Good start, Barmier. South Africa would have fancied their chances, chasing 149. Pakistan have been desperate, they've defended well. Their spinners have bowled brilliantly. Their fans are loving it. They're over the moon, the crowd at Trent Bridge. Five balls to go. It's a good bowling, good thinking by Amir. Very talented bowler. Length delivery instead of Yorker, brave delivery. That's six, full toss on leg stump. That's the length he doesn't want to bowl. Good shot by JP Dumini. Another one like that will make it very interesting. He's expecting that delivery, low full toss, played it nicely. Difficult shot to play under the circumstances. Six runs from two deliveries. Seventeen runs required or four deliveries. Difficult but not impossible. That's a terrific delivery. That's in Albi Marco. Great throw. Terrific fielding. Everything was happening to Pakistan. Directed. Mohammad Abel wasn't behind the stumps to take the ball. Wow, what a throw. What a throw. Direct at the stumps under pressure. Albi Mokal departs for two. South Africa, 134 for five. Disappointment for Albi Mokal. It's another look at it. This is a brilliant throw. Fawad Alam. Gets it away quickly, but more importantly, gets it away accurately. The bowler nowhere near the stumps where he should have been, but it didn't matter. This guy has done well. He's really feeling well. He's a team man, this young man, Fawad Alam. 16 to win from three balls. Five wickets in hand. to win for three three balls Pakistan will they qualify for the finals they have every chance now Yunus Khan the captain young army to bowl to Domini beautifully bowled bit of reversing his place they're gonna come back for second Amr is behind the stumps oh he missed it doesn't matter well, unless the ball a no ball, that ball's a no ball. That it's game over. 14 required of two deliveries. 
fairy tale for Pakistan. They look nowhere at the start of the tournament, particularly during those warm-up games, but they've come a long, long way. They really have. They showed the class, they showed the consistency, they showed the passion. Everybody chipped in at the right time. And what a game this 2020 cricket is. 14 runs required from two balls. Pakistan to qualify. This probably go for the boundary. Doesn't matter. As long as he doesn't bowl a no ball. Great shot, but perhaps too little, too late. Another look at this terrific throw. It was a mid-pitch collision. So Alvin Walker had no chance of getting back. The bowler not behind the stumps, but he's happy. He's 17 years old. You can give the benefit of doubt. Yunus Khan having a go at him. Why didn't you come behind the stumps? But he's a member, he's only 17. You can give him a bit of leverage here. This is amazingly ball and Pakistan have qualified for the World ICC T20. What a fairy tale this for Pakistan. And look at the crowd going crazy here. What an upset. Pakistan today, quite brilliant. South Africa have been brilliant throughout the tournament, but Pakistan today played the better cricket. They'll be absolutely delighted. South Africa would be shocked. They were the firm favourite South Africa, but not anymore. Pakistan have spoiled their party. They have qualified for the finals at Lords on Sunday. I remember before the tournament, I said Pakistan is one of the favourites. A lot of people had, had laughed, laughed at me. But I was right, they are in the final. Pakistan is back in action. Right, definitely back in action. South Africa would be desperately disappointed. They would have backed themselves to get the 149 required or the 150 required to win this match. But Pakistan, and in particular Shahid Afridi, was quite brilliant with the ball. South Africa falling short of their quest to get the 150, 142 for five in 20 overs, despite the 64 from Jacques Callis and the 44 not out from JP Duhamel. The South Africans falling short in a semi-final yet again in one-day cricket. The Pakistan bowlers, Abdul Razak, three overs, none for 19. Mohamed Amir, four overs, one for 30. Two for 16 in four overs from Shahid Afridi. He really did put the brakes on. Said Ajmal, one for 23 in four overs. Shoaib Malik, one over, none for five. Three overs from Umar Gul, none for 19. And one over from Fawad Alam for 15. Summary of this first semi-final in the 2009 ICC World 2020. Pakistan, who won the toss and batted 149 for four. South Africa, 142 for five. Pakistan winning by the slender margin of just seven runs. Man of the Match award went to Shahid Afridi for a brilliant spell of bowling. He really did get amongst the South African batsman and he put the brakes on, restricting the number of runs coming from his four overs. So Pakistan would take their place in the final at Lords. From Trent Bridge, Nottingham, this has been the best of the ICC World 2020 from 2009. Goodbye for now.